My name is Karen Burns, and I'm an education specialist at the Virginia Aquarium. I'm also the program manager for the Virginia Aquarium Sensible Seafood Program, and that is our sustainable seafood initiative. So my job is to educate the public about the environment here in which we live and Virginia's marine critters, as well as to engage the public in discussions about sustainable seafood and what things at this point in time are good to eat and what things might be wanted to be avoided for the time being. In October of 2008, we launched the Sensible Seafood Program Initiative in October because that is National Seafood Month. And from that point on, we began recruiting partner restaurants and businesses that would pledge to serve at least one sensible seafood or sustainable seafood dish off of our pocket guide. And the Virginia Aquarium has developed a pocket guide that has categories red, green, and yellow. And these guide consumers in determining what fish species, both fin fish and shellfish, that they can eat for the time being. Those lists are constantly evaluated and they do change. So we have some species that have been in the avoid category for many years in some cases, which have recently been moved to either the yellow or in some cases even into the green. These categories are evaluated on the way that the fish is managed, how the fish are caught and harvested, and also the status of the species in the wild as far as availability and uh, plentifulness out there in the wild. So we work with Monterey Bay Seafood Watch Program, and they provide us the research behind the species that are chosen to be on our pocket guide. We update our pocket guide at the beginning of the year, um, each year we meet with a, an advisory panel made up of fishery scientists and also other groups that have a vested interest and these would be groups that um, that distribute seafood to restaurants and also some of our restaurant partners meet each year in an advisory panel to evaluate our card look at the direction of the program and determine where we're going as far as initiatives for the particular year and that would be things like recruiting other businesses and other restaurants that have common goals of serving sustainable seafood